Hi and welcome to this video. I am Anis, a GMAT expert. I created this channel to help you ace the GMAT in the easiest way possible. In this channel, you will find strategies that are never shown elsewhere. These powerful strategies will help you solve difficult problems very quickly. I invite you to stay tuned till the end of this video. There is a special gift waiting for you. If a positive integer x is a multiple of 4 and the positive integer y is a multiple of 6, then x times y must be a multiple of which of the following? So, x is a multiple of 4, so x is equal to 4 times k, with k is an integer. Okay, so and y is a multiple of 6, so y is equal to 6 times k prime also is an integer. Okay, so now we are talking about x times y, so x times y it is equal to 4k times 6k prime so x times y is equal to 24k times k prime so this product here is an integer x times y must be a multiple of which of the following okay so let us see exactly let us examine this x times y must be a multiple of which of the following. So, okay, so 8, let's test. Is x and y a multiple of 8? Is x and y must be a multiple of 8? Yes, because x times y is equal 8 times 3 times 1. So it's 8 times a an integer. It could be written like this, so because 24 is 8 times 3. So x and y is a multiple of 8 because it can be written in the form 8 times an integer. So this is correct. So let's try 12. The same here, we can write x times y equal 12 times 2 times k times so it's 12 times an integer so x and y is a multiple of 12 18 we cannot do this i mean we cannot it's not um it is not a must because first 24 it cannot be written uh, 18 times something else and so and so 24 is not divided by 18 k times k prime can be divided by 18 and it can also not be divided by 18 so if this is equal to 1 and this is equal to 1 then x times y is equal to 24 it is not a multiple of 18 but if let's say k equal uh, 18 that means x times y is equal to 24 times 18 and now it is a multiple of 18 and in this configuration it is not a multiple of 18 so it is not a must so 8 and, and 12 are a must but not 18 so the answer here is clearly B thank you for watching this video in order to help you ace the GMAT I decided to offer you for free my ultimate GMAT probability course you can find this course in the description of this video. Probability is one of the most important parts of the GMAT quant section. This part is very difficult and many students struggle with it. In this course, I will give you the best strategy to tackle any probability question and I will show you how to apply this strategy to more than 40 different practice questions. Once you finish this course, you'll be able to solve any probability question that encounters you in the GMAT. First, I will introduce you to combinations, arrangements, and permutations. 
Then we'll solve together more than 40 GMAT questions of different level of difficulty and I will show you step by step how to solve them in the simplest way possible. Once you master the methods I teach in this course, you'll be able, starting of tonight, to not only solve any GMAT probability problem, but also to solve them quickly and this will help you save a lot of time during the test. Click on the link in the description to get this unique free course.